Okay, YouTube, let's see if we can figure this out. So I have, uh, I'm gonna make a leather sheath for my knife today. So here's the template I started with. Right here, and it's a little too small to fit my knife in, so I just made it a hair bigger at the top this thing's hard to aim backwards. I wish it could, would go the other way. Um, and now I'm gonna punch the holes. Uh, to get it folded nice and tightly, I came over to my anvil over here. Set it down on there and took and pinched it and then just hammered it down. So that's that. Got a cool anvil. Lots of ring, lots of bounce. Um, so now I'm gonna punch my holes in it. First you get the back tied down so you can get access to the opposite side and then you close it off, sew it all together. And in the end, you hope your knife fits. So the string you want to use is this stuff. You can get it at the Hyde House in Napa Valley, California, right in downtown Napa. Really strong stuff. I sew everything up with this and then I tie it real tight and then I take a lighter and I burn the ends shut and press them together and it's like rock solid. I've never had it come off. Um, and then you need a punch, a Leatherman's punch. I'm missing one of the dies, but... Um, and then, yeah, so I'm gonna get started here. Okay, so I've got my holes punched. Around the outside, around the outside there. Now we'll do the back strap. I guess I should clarify why I'm actually making a new scabbard for my knife. It's because the factory piece of junk scabbard uh the stitching was kind of messy right from the get-go and it finally came loose and i've only had this knife since christmas time i was buying knives for everybody else and you know how that goes you got to buy yourself something while you're at it so i'm replacing that and i can't get back inside this here to get those that sewed back together. Also, I got this belt that I made. This is the first belt I ever made. It's got the 001 on it right there. And this belt was my prototype, but I have no idea how long I've had this, like five, six, seven years it could be for all I know. I made quite a few of them. And uh, it's held up all this time. And here's the crazy thing. I said that I've never had one of those things break and now i'm looking at my belt and i see a little fray right there so yeah finally seven years later but uh that's an easy fix just put a new one in and you can see all the rest of those held up are still holding up just fine and they're nice and tight changed my design a little bit but these are very sturdy belts i cut them out of my own piece of hide uh leather at the hide house you can buy whole hide whole cow hide leather it's awesome fur on fur off brahma bull whatever you want so check that place out all right next thing we got here is a needle you need a sewing needle so you want to go with these great big gigantic uh sanger heavy heavy fabric repair needles these are a must well, I'm out here in the man cave, got my fire pit. A little warm today to get a fire going out here, but uh, this is how far I got so far. I got terrible lighting in here. Getting close right there. You can kind of see That stitching I did I went ahead and punched holes above and below and laced over the top of everything there so 
I just gotta close it up. All right, well, here it is, guys. Got it all done. Um, haven't tried to put my knife in it yet, but that's kind of what the way that turns out, all that stitching and stuff. Uh, just a zigzag pattern, you know. Go through one hole to the next, all the way up to the top, and then go through the top hole twice, and then work your way back down. And it turns out decent. Um, my knife is over here. Go outside here where we can see. So that's that. That's looks pretty sloppy to me, real sloppy. But when I stick it down in there, it looks like this. And let's see if I can get this thing set somewhere where I can actually show you guys what I got here. So that's that, and it's in there like really good. And it's kind of buried, so I think I'm gonna take a string, a little piece of leather off of this, but I'm not gonna make a loop in it because that loop will get caught on stuff. It's just gonna be a single string, so it will work its way through stuff, a single strand, but that's, that's uh, the back side. I wish I wouldn't have marked it with that Sharpie where I was gonna cut, but. Nice, heavy piece of leather, like baseball glove or a boot. You know, it's real, just solid. And got myself a little Kershaw. That's just a little fixed blade guy for a little skin and knife. So there it is, guys. And thanks for watching.